Hello Scorpio, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading. Now in this tarot card reading, I'm going to be looking at the energy and feelings of the individual that you are dealing with. In the extended, I'm going to be looking at the internal issues and providing advice. I'm also going to be pulling a few oracle cards later in this reading, so do pay attention for that. Let's begin your tarot card reading. What is Scorpio's person going through during this time? What are they feeling? What is happening inside of their energy? Okay, so the very first card that I have is in reverse position. This particular card talks about a relationship that is a little bit broken, okay? This card is in reverse position. It's giving me the impression that the two of you might not be really, you know, communicating to, uh, during this period of time. The two of you might not be on the same sort of level. It feels as if there's a lack of an eye-to-eye -eye communication, a lack of, you know, union in this, um, you know, relationship. It feels as if both you and this individual are not on the same page with each other. Now, this card, traditionally in upright position, talks about, you know, love and harmony and the beauty of having a relationship, things of that nature. But since it is in reverse position, it is indicating that the two of you may have broken up or went through something that has caused a great deal of unhappiness and sadness, right? There might be other elements and factors to this connection that may have caused a great deal of pain. But I'm definitely picking up there's the energy here of where both you and this individual are just, you know, either not clicking with each other or there's something there that has caused for this uh, disharmonious energy. Okay, so the next card, right? It's so interesting that there's uh, these two energies that are showing up, one next to the other. The first one is talking about a lack of union because it is a reverse position. The second one is talking about this very intense chemistry, powerful physical attraction, love, desire, and things of that nature. It's talking about a divine intervention, a higher power playing a role in bringing the two of you together. But it feels as if there's a refusal on the energy of this individual's part to acknowledge this really powerful connection. So I feel like this person feels this connection, but there's a disharmony here. There's this energy of whether or not, um, you know, getting with the times. It feels as if they're either refusing this connection, refusing to make a decision regarding this connection. You know, it feels like the type of energy where this love is at a standstill. I feel like the two of you are facing each other, but I also feel as if one person is slightly turned away. And that could be because one individual might have been waiting for a long time for the other to make a decision and to come forward and to make this work. That's why we have this energy of where the two of you are not on the same page with each other. So very, very interesting. But also when you have these two particular cards with each other, it does signify that yes, the two of you have a very intense chemistry. So I feel like the person you're dealing with hasn't really claimed this love in a way that you wanted them to, okay? Now, you know, for this card to show up, it's showing to me that, you know, one person is oblivious to the love that is shared here. 
it feels as if you know someone is feeling rejected clearly you know it could be this individual choosing to ignore what this uh, love does for them or what it brings into their world it feels like the energy of where there's a lack of acknowledgement for the possibilities it feels as if this individual is sitting in a state of apathy i'm definitely picking up this energy of where they are looking at the glass half empty okay so it feels like the energy of where there's a difficulty in terms of facing this connection, dealing with this connection and moving things along. And there could be a number of reasons of why they have chosen to take this path, right? feel like this love hasn't had a chance to really blossom and grow in the way that you had hoped for. It feels as if someone is very hesitant to follow their heart. Someone is very afraid here. There's a real fear, a real genuine fear to be authentic in this situation. I feel like, you know, this person may have opened up themselves to the possibility of love in the past. There's an element of vulnerability that's coming across. This is a very heavy energy of opening up and being uh, present in the moment. It talks about a willingness to embrace emotions and feelings and things of that nature. Okay, so I feel like this took a lot of uh, energy on the part of this individual to truly acknowledge their feelings. I feel like at one point in time, they couldn't help themselves but feel this intense drive to, you know, come forward, to make this happen, to see things go through, to see things move along, okay? But right now, it feels as if these energies are marred by other factors and elements, Yeah, it feels like there's so many things going on in the situation. This person is definitely taking their time. This person that you're dealing with is either struggling with their emotions or feelings, but I feel like there's a real stagnation in terms of their energy. There's this type of uh, sense of them not being able to deal with some of their deeper emotions. I'm feeling like, you know, there's something that this individual has been attached to and it feels like the type of energy of where you know they've embraced an element of negativity it feels as if they struggle to be positive in their life it feels like a lot of you have felt as if this individual was drifting away or something about their energy is just very different to how they would like for things to be i feel like you felt this individual's you know uh, movement away from the situation and as much as you would like things to work there's this intense connection for some of you this could be a twin flame situation i feel like this person is really taking their time there's a struggle to make a decision right there's lots of emotions here, lots of emotions. This person has a lot of emotions in this situation. I don't really feel like they are at a point in which they are ignorant of these feelings. It just feels as if they're not giving in to it. Especially for this card to come up in reverse, you know, it feels as if they're not talking about some of the emotions. Yeah. I feel like there's many factors and variables affecting this relationship. Someone could be, you know, playing games or doing things. It feels as if there's a very deep obsession here. This person is definitely obsessed over you. But I also feel like someone, you know, messes things up or gets it twisted to a certain extent. It feels like those energies come into play. Maybe every time they try to be authentic with you, it always goes into a dark place. Or maybe when they try to make an attempt, it feels as if it gets messed up in some shape or form, right? So their efforts don't really translate very well. 
it feels like whenever the two of you come together to try there's these other energies here these shadow energies or difficult energies that are wreaking havoc upon your relationship that could be pulling the two of you apart So let's get a few oracle cards. Okay. So I feel like, you know, the two of you have a very strong love for one another. It talks about the durability of love and how, you know, this is a connection that is very complicated. And no matter what the two of you do to one another, that love is always going to exist. Because I feel like at times the two of you can tear at each other, but at times both you and this individual can build each other up. But there's also these complicated elements here of negativity, uh, you know, conflicting energies that have kept the two of you trapped in certain patterns or certain behaviors that have been transpiring. Yeah. Yeah, I do feel like there's uh, a need to look for new solutions in this situation because the current energies are not really allowing for that sort of movement that both you and this individual are secretly wanting to have. I do pick up this energy of obsession from this individual, but I also feel like these energies get very messed up or twisted, especially with these two particular cards that are showing up right yeah, so I see that in terms of this situation, there's a desire to address things on a much, much deeper level, right? Because I feel like sometimes between you and this person concerned, the love gets lost in translation. There's certain elements here that have, uh, you know, just been adding a lot more chaos than was necessary between you and this individual concerned, okay? So I'm going to be exploring the balance of these energies on an extended reading. I'm going to be looking at what is the way moving forward? What is this individual really doing? What is making them or stopping them from making a decision? Why are they taking their time? Why do these energies always show up in the situation between you and this person concerned? What is the way to go around it instead of, you know, leaving this relationship in limbo and not having the movement that you've been desiring? I hope you guys enjoyed your reading. You can find the link in the description box below. Have a wonderful day and take care.